Let us imagine that if there are no insects, there will be no flowers. And if there are no flowers, there will be no fruit. And this speaks to me most strongly. A world without apples, a world without trees. We're here simply to support the move, human for human, nothing else. Sting the system! Since I was a little kid, I had always dreamt to have bees, since I was six or so. I served in the army for 30 years, and only when I retired, I started realizing the dream of my childhood. For the first time since World War I, the beekeepers have come together to fight for what's theirs. Not for their pockets, but for their beloved little bees. Our little bees to secure the well-being of the bees whose numbers are drastically decreasing, who are dying. We have to save the bees so that we can have jars of honey on our tables. World without bees will be naked. World without bees will be naked. We have come to Warsaw today from all over Poland from Lublin, Wojtwa, Novi Sanj. My roots are in the east, but I've lived in the greater Poland region for 40 years. We happen to come from Sanj, Katowice, and the surrounding areas. We have come on buses. We are beekeepers. I have beehives in the Baishidi Mountains in the pine tree forests. I'm 75 years of age, and I still have 80 beehives. And one hive is inhabited by about 80,000 to 100,000 bees. We like it. We love our little bee. It brings us our lovely honey. We have come from the Beekeepers Association in Katowice, for a peaceful demonstration, just to bring the bee problem to the world's attention. It has been said that not only pesticides, but in great degree pesticides, have caused the dramatic disappearance of the bees. Last fall, we had nice bees in the hive. I look into the hive in the spring, and there are just a few bees thrown out and an empty hive. They have everything. They have food. But there are no bees. That is what's happening. Let our scientists take care of this and speak about this. Let them introduce such substances to spray on our plants that are not harmful to the bees. And then there will be no problem. Pesticides are a weapon of mass destruction that are smartly used as a part of the GMO. GMO is in the flowers, in roots, for example, in beetroots. Let us wait 30, 130 years with the research on the eventual or rather actual influence of pesticides on bees connected to the genetically modified seeds. Let us wait for now. This is the healthiest smoke on this demonstration of all the demonstrations we've done all over Poland. It is healthy. It does a lot of good to people. And it's the most pacifist one, as from what I've heard. It sends the bees to sleep. It calms them down, sets them in a positive way so that they can give us honey, which does everybody a lot of good. Polish beekeepers have good honey. 
We don't need any other honey from the European Union or anywhere else. Let's not look for crystallized honey. Town of Ketzerin greets beekeepers from the rest of Poland. In order to be a beekeeper, you need to like it. You need to have passion for it. You need to love it and be very dedicated. If we don't help the bee, the bee won't help us. The Highlanders want to play. People have come all the way from Zakopane in the mountains, and you can't walk a few steps. Mm-hmm.